Today we're going to talk about how you can use patches to effectively defend against attacks. I'm not patched. Alright, so today's episode is all about patching stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that we gotta patch. Specifically, we gotta patch servers, we gotta patch workstations, we gotta patch laptops, and we gotta patch all the other stuff. One of our biggest concerns right now, especially when it comes to viruses and attacks on organizations, is attacks that are exploiting workstations and laptops specifically. Laptops are an especially serious problem for two very important reasons. A lot of the time, they are not in the corporate environment, so they don't benefit from a lot of the extra layers of defense, like your firewall. A lot of the times, they're being used in public spaces on public Wi-Fi, and the recent Superfish vulnerability indicates that they are really susceptible to man-in-the-middle attacks. That's where somebody's intercepting the information that you have. This is a huge risk in a public access space. Now you ask, okay, so they're intercepting my information. What can they possibly do? Well, one of the things they can do is intercept your DNS, direct it to another DNS server, and all of a sudden you're getting ads that you wouldn't seen before. Those ads could have malware. You click on an ad, the box is owned. It's that simple. That's the danger of having an unpatched machine. Workstations, your users are a threat to you. What they do, what they click on, can infect your network. And in fact, recently there was a huge um, discovery made by a security company that Russian banks were targeted. Okay, they were targeted and the loss was somewhere between 300 million and 1 billion dollars. Okay, how did those bad guys get at those machines? Those machines were not patched against a vulnerability in Microsoft 2003. That vulnerability one was from 2012, one was from 2013, and one was from 2014. All of them had actually been patched with the last patch coming out 10 months ago. So you tell me, are you really gonna want to work in an organization that doesn't take patch management seriously? I don't think so. Patch management, according to the Australians, is the second and third most effective defense against advanced persistent threat, which advanced persistent threat is the hardest threat to deal with. Lastly, your server. It's important to patch servers because, again, that's where all the corporate information is being held. And sometimes malware can move from a workstation onto a server. And if there's, the server isn't patched and up to date, then you have a serious situation where you not only have infected workstations, but you have an infected server. That server, because maybe it's a powerful server, can start doing a whole bunch of nasty things, including blasting out spam, possibly conducting denial service attacks on other organizations. But the more insidious is when the bad guys have gotten in there and they take it over and they make it a command and control server, controlling thousands if not hundreds of other computers to do the bidding of whoever the bad guys have are who have infected that server. Thanks for joining us and make sure you subscribe to our channel.